Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new video. Today we're taking our first look at the Drake Herald, which is an awesome ship. I'm a really a big fan of the Drake interplanetary style. And as you can see right here, it looks amazing. I also covered the Caterpillar of Drake interplanetary, which you can see a card of right now. And it basically has the same uh, kind of design guidli guidelines which is a very awesome and very modular fashion. So CIG can use all those assets for the Drake interplanetary ship lineup. And you can truly see they use the same patterns, the same color schemes, uh, the same kind of materials, which is very nice and very efficient as well for the star sits in development. So to start off with those big ass thrusters, this this ship is truly king in drag racing. I mean, those thrusters, there's nothing which can beat that in a straight line forward. And as you can see, it doesn't really have a lot of uh, navigational thrusters. I think it, there here are some little, but those are very small. So I really expect to have a lot of force to get straight forward, but not really the ma maneuverability to actually make very sharp turns or anything. So here we uh, got some panels where you can probably get inside in uh, as an engineer to maybe repair stuff or recover data or whatever you want. Here we got some small guns, which are not too big, but here we got some nice missiles. I am counting uh, eight at least eight size one missiles from ordinance the thcn task force one and here we got of course the data systems which we uh, can't really interact with right now but of course in the future in the future sorry <laughs> we'll be able to interact with that and here we got another small gun at the start of the ship of course the ship is symmetrical they actually want to make it asymmetrical like i show a picture of right now but that didn't happen because they just want to go with a symmetrical because it's more easier to make so let's actually get inside of the ship because the outside looks really cool but the inside looks really cool as well i mean the ship is well, quite comfy on the inside, so let's close the door behind us if we can, but we probably can't since the uh, system doesn't really work like that yet. So here we got the uh, cockpit where we can get inside. There we go. And we got all those little panels right here, which we can see. We can look around. The visibility is very nice. You can basically see everything, except down right here we can't really see a look right there and here we can see the big ass engines again make a little turn around on the ship and you can really see why people won't really love this ship i can imagine a lot of people won't like this ship because it's looking so awesome and also the uh where it's intended for, for data running. That's pretty cool in my opinion. So here we got all the uh, data servers probably which you can access. You can actually see some, uh, what, what did it say? Th this is really, we're getting into details right here. Module heat. So if it's too hot, it will actually <laughs> say it or you can maybe dial it so it can be hotter or anything. That's really cool. Really cool details right there. Here we got a toilet as well if you need a space break and a little uh, bit of a water thing and of course a bat if you really really are in for the long run. And here we got a second seat which is there for communication interception or data gathering. I don't think it actually works right now. Or it probably does, but it, no, it actually doesn't. So that's a bit of a shame. Also, I don't really expect uh, to have this kind of data running thing online very quickly because it's a very 
may maybe a little bit of a niche game design thing but who knows maybe it comes sooner than later i actually don't know and if i look at the schedule reports it doesn't say anything about their running at all so it's going to come as a surprise but the details are really astounding here we got some more now this ship is actually uh, pretty much in the state where it's mostly finished and I really like it so of course we have seen the inside and the outside I also will show a little bit about how it flies right now so here we finally got into our Drake ship as you can see we got the uh, fixed weapon right here and we also got a fixed weapon right here. So we basically got three fixed weapons, which you can shoot like this. And of course we got the 16 missiles, which are there, right there. I will actually show them a little bit up close. But here on the right, you see eight missiles. And here on the left, you see also eight missiles. So that really, well, the ship looks pretty small. It is still capable of packing a punch. So that's really good if you want to protect your available data. But it's always uh, a good thing to have some missiles with you. Though the ship is pretty fast. So I can imagine you will also be able to outrun your enemies. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the Drake Herald. A truly cool ship. And if you, if you want to know more, ask questions, whatever you like. And I will try my best to answer them. If you liked the video, give a thumbs up. If you want to see more, consider to subscribe. And if you actually want to see more right now, here on the left you can see the latest info about the Drake Caterpillar, which is uh, also uh, coming in the 2.6 patch, is being released right now. And if you want to keep up in shape with Star Marine, you can actually check it out on the right right here and I will talk a little bit about Star Marine which is in 2.6 as well. So I thank you all for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.